This video will show you how to set up a 2x2 video wall using converters.tv HDMI quad video wall matrix switch. Now I won't be showing you how to build and mount a video wall, but rather show you how to use the hardware. Now this is an extremely versatile product, which is simply plug and play. It does not need any computers or software to set it up. It supports full 1080p display and is very flexible as it is not only a video wall but also a matrix and a switch. Now our test desk isn't too flash at the moment but it will do for demonstration purposes. So when you unbox a unit you should find a user manual, the video wall matrix switch, wall brackets, a power supply with outlet fittings and a remote control. In addition to this you will need four screens with HDMI inputs, one to four input sources, and up to eight HDMI cables. For our input sources, we're using a test pattern generator, a PC, an Xbox 360, and a media center. Each of these have a HDMI output, except the media center, which we're using a DVI to HDMI cable to connect to the video wall matrix switch. Setup is as simple as plug and play. First, set up your screens in a 2x2 setup and plug a HDMI cable into each of them. Then connect the other side of these cables into the video wall matrix switch in the appropriate order. That is, with the top left screen plugging into output A, the top right into B, the bottom left into C, and the bottom right into D. Next, plug a cable into each of your input sources. Then, plug the HDMI connector into the unit's input holes. By default, input 1 will display on output A, 2 will display on B, 3 on C, and 4 on D. The last step is to connect power to all of your devices. Now, when you power everything up, you should see input 1, 2, 3 and 4 display on screen A, B, C and D respectively. Now you can test the unit's awesome capabilities. Since it functions as a matrix and a switch, you may mix, match and swap what inputs each screen displays. To do this, on the unit or with the remote control, Simply press one of the output buttons. Then, to change what input the highlighted output displays, press the desired input number button. This allows you to mix and match what is displayed as you please. You may then save a favorite configuration for later use with the save button and reload it with the recall button. There is also a lock button that stops people from messing with the configurations. You may also do this for when the screens are in split screen mode, which you enter when you press the matrix slash dual wall button once. Again, you may mix and match the inputs with each output, which is great for multitasking. If you press this button again, you will enter video wall mode, which displays one large image across the four screens. You can then select which input displays by pressing the numbered button for your desired source. There are also many more adjustable options through the menu button, which brings up an easy to use on-screen display on all of your monitors. The menu features standard adjustments such as color, brightness and contrast, but also includes features such as bezel adjustments, which lets you adjust the size of the image to compensate for any bezel on your screen. There are also shortcuts for these menu settings on the remote control, such as changing the resolution, saving favorite setups, and adjusting audio preferences. You may also optionally control the unit from a PC using software available online. This is useful for if you have a PC that controls all the multimedia devices in your home or business. To do this, you can connect a computer to the unit via either Ethernet cable or an RS-232 cable. 
The software lets you adjust the same options as on the remote control and OSD menu for the unit and lets you choose if you are connected via RS-232 or Ethernet cable. Troubleshooting is also simplistic. Common errors to check for if the image isn't displaying is checking that all power and multimedia cables are plugged in correctly, power is indicated by a light on the unit, checking that your screen source is set to HDMI and ensuring all input sources are set to output through the correct format. If connecting via Ethernet, you may need to check the unit's Ethernet settings in its menu. If you are connecting through a router, leave the connection set to DHCP. If you are connecting directly through PC, you will need to change the connection to static. Note down the IP address of the unit, then on the software interface, change the Ethernet IP address to that of the unit and hit connect. So that's the lowdown on Converters.tv HDMI over 4x4 video wall matrix switch. For further information, follow the link below to the Converters.tv website. If you want to set up a larger video wall, or a simpler 2x2 video wall at a smaller cost, please watch our video for Converters.tv's video wall controller processor. And there's more videos to come. So subscribe and find us on Facebook and Twitter if so inclined.